the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you, my brothers and sisters. In today's first read, St. John speaks to us through the book of Revelation. He reminds us that absorbing God's divine word can be so uplifting and so love-filled. He also reminds us if we're going to live our lives according to God's word, at times it will bring us difficulty and hardship so that we might live the word of Almighty God in the good times, but also in the difficult times. Let us begin this Mass by first calling to mind our sins and then asking the Lord for his divine mercy. Lord, the times that we have turned to our own difficulties rather than to your loving presence, Lord, have mercy. Christ, for the times that we have not lived as your people in the good time, but also in the difficult times, Christ, have mercy. And Lord, for the times that we have not kept in our minds and in our hearts the gift of your heavenly kingdom, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins, and may he bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Today's first reading is taken from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Then the voice spoke to me and said, Go. Take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went up to the angel and told him to give me the small scroll. He said to me, take and swallow it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will taste as sweet as honey. I took the small scroll from the angel's hand and swallowed it. In my mouth, it was like sweet honey. But when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Then someone said to me, you must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. The word of the Lord. The response for today's responsorial psalm is, How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees I rejoice, as much as in all which riches. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight, they are my counsel. How sweet to my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. The joy of my heart they are. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your command. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Today's gospel verse, Alleluia, Alleluia. The sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Lord be with you. Our God.
gospel reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death. But they could find no way to accomplish their purpose because all the people were hanging on his word. The Gospel of the Lord. Again, in today's first reading, St. John describes for us his experience of Almighty God's divine word. He mentions how he was told to absorb this one scroll, obviously the word of God. When he first tasted it in his mouth, it was like sweet honey. However, once it entered into his system, his stomach turned sour. Exactly what is St. John symbolizing here? Well, notice what can be like our own faith experience. When we first recognize the depth of God's love for us, when we enable ourselves to recognize the beauty and the power of God's love within us, it's only natural that we should feel uplifted. It's only natural that God's word, as we absorb it, should be sweet in our mouth. But now we all know if we're going to live our faith truly and fully, there are going to be some times that Almighty God asks of us that which is difficult, maybe even that which is painful. We can, of course, take that initial sensation of sweetness and make it turn sour. If we truly absorb Almighty God's divine words, there are times that it will bring us difficulty and hurt even pain. However, notice something else. In the book of Revelation, as Almighty God allows St. John to absorb the scroll of the scriptures, St. John also recognizes and envisions the kingdom of heaven. I dare say our own spiritual life should follow that same pattern. Not only should we absorb God's word, Not only will living that word at times be difficult, but we should always keep in our minds and in our hearts God's gift of the heavenly kingdom, the eternal, unspeakable, indescribable joy which Almighty God has created for each of us. If only we will absorb and live his divine word so that we might live the word of Almighty God Let us now present to the Lord our prayers and our petition that we might dedicate all that we say and all that we do to the sharing of God's loving goodness with others. We pray to the Lord that we might absorb and ever live the word of Almighty God. We pray to the Lord. That we will seek the kingdom of heaven Throughout the course of our life, we pray to the Lord. For the special intentions requested for today's Mass of the Lee and Vu families, for Tammy Shaquette, for Kay Russell Berg, for the special intention of Caleb Ivey, for our own individual intentions as well as our personal prayers of thanksgiving, we pray to the Lord. Eternal Father, you bless us with your goodness, you give to us your scriptures, and you call us to the gift of your heavenly King. Grant our prayers and our petitions so that absorbing and living your divine word, we might prepare ourselves for the eternal life that you give us in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer 
which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed to you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hand. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint John the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may have to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May you receive in your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and the healing women. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on me. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on me. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, who blesses us with the gift of his only eternal life. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Son of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I would invite those of you who are viewing at home and unable to receive the Blessed Sacrament sacramentally at this time 
to please join me in the prayer of spiritual community. Most holy Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually to my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. May I never be parted from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O oh Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. And may the Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Go forth, the Mass is in it.